buddy um so i'm here with the uh, color cl mostly black bliss review um i also have two pairs left of the sahara now i did um kind of an intro video that i uploaded a while back a couple weeks ago a week or so ago um where i showed everything that i'm going to review and i had done the costume side and i i did this video but the lighting wasn't great i just i wasn't happy with the end result so i ended up just scrapping it and redoing it so because of that i have another phone here with the list of everything i have and what it's called and i'm going to try my best to remember what each of these contacts is but if i forget i will just add it in the description because as always i write down um or i don't write down sorry i show what they are in the packages and i'll be able to match it up so um, before anybody says anything, my hair is a little bit wonky. Uh, I tried to cut it. I wanted to do, I used to have old school V bangs and I tried to cut it like that and it didn't go. So I just rounded it off and you know, every time you comb your hair, it moves and it looks different. And so it just like, I don't want to cut it too high here on the side. So I just left it and in the end it'll end up my hair my bangs grow super fast so it'll end up like growing back better fast but in case anybody notices what the hell is going on with her bangs that's what it is i cut them and i messed up but <clears throat> i don't leave the house anyway so it doesn't matter um anywho the ones that i have on right now this is uh one of the last two siesta sahara that i'm gonna try I think the only um, Sahara left is a brown one and I see no point in reviewing a brown contact because it will look just like my eye and from all the pictures and all the videos um, that I saw on it, it just looks like a normal brown eye. I guess it's made for people who don't have my shade of brown or I don't know, I don't really know why someone would get the same shade as your actual eye color without prescription so I... I just don't see a reason. Um, now these ones are called um, Sahara Sunset. So the reason I didn't get these before is because as you know I got these. These are the other purple ones from Siesta Sahara and I thought well one purple will be the same as another purple. What's the point in trying two purples? I want to review stuff that is different and that people would see and be like oh I really want to try that and if it looks exactly the same as another pair it's kind of pointless you know I, I'm not trying to waste people's time here I guess <laughs> but in looking at the videos it's not the same um, I'm gonna have to write down when I look it up what this one's called because I honestly don't remember but what I'm gonna do is a quick comparison for you after I zoom in a little bit um, I'm using a ring light so you can see the the two lights reflected in my eyes in case you notice this is my attempt at trying to get the color of the um, the contact lenses much much better now I had the other video I made was with the webcam um, so that I could zoom in but the problem with that is that um, the webcam is not directly in front of my face so to do the contact lens video I'm looking down here and you can't see the contacts and if I look up here I'm not sure if my eyes lined up with the camera so it, it didn't really work out so I'm, I'm trying to redo it again using the lights as a focus and just trying to you know do this so you guys can see the color how does that work is that any better because you know I can't zoom since I'm in front facing camera but um this color is really pretty. I really, really like it. Hopefully even here though, let me move this closer. Um, I think I'll stick with it like this instead of zooming in. Um, this, this is a lighter purple than the other one. I really do like it. Um, I wonder what you guys will think though. So let's see. So that's the new one. And um, this is the one that I had already reviewed. I, I think it's called dusk but don't quote me on that I'll write it down so so this is more of a blue based purple and this is more of a red based purple like this is like a 
I don't know, like a violet. I don't even know. <laughs> One of them, uh, this one's definitely pinker, more red, and the other one is just like a more bluish violet. I don't know which one I like the best, but I think, I think I like this one best. This is still a very beautiful color, but for some reason, I just, this one appeals to me a lot more. All right, this is the Siesta Sahara Oasis. And um, when I first saw these lenses on the site, I was like, I'm never going to try those. I am not interested. I don't want those. They look very fluorescent and very fake and kind of ugly. Not ugly, but just like cosplay lenses. And I, I wasn't really interested. Um, but... I saw some people review them and in those reviews they actually were not so bright not so horrible looking and so I decided you know what I love Sahara so much I'm just gonna go for it I'm just gonna go for it and see what it looks like and um, this is what it looks like up close And um, I I actually really like them. I wore these for some pictures the other day, I think yesterday, and um, they were beautiful, you know, um, without the bright, bright lights in my face. Let me see if I can dim one of them so you can see. I can change. Uh, I, I didn't dim it. I just changed the color. Hold on. Let me dim them a little. So when it's quite dim they they look even more kind of realistic I just have them turned really high up because I want you guys to be able to see the color but I really really like these I like these a lot more than I thought I would and I kind of wish I had tried them sooner but I got them I got to try them now and um, again the coverage is amazing um, Sorry, I'm gurgling. You can see a little bit of overlap because they are slightly enlarging this this line. But if that doesn't bother you, you know, with, with my little eye closed, you can't really see them too much anyway. It's only when I look up or around. These are great. Alright, this is the Tint Bling Gray. Now... I talked about these a little bit in the intro video. Um, I am really shocked by the tint bling because I thought that they were just going to be basically your eye color but adding sparkle and that's it because they do have the same shimmer and shine as the sparkle and the pearl series and um, but they don't. They've got a really good really natural looking coverage. This is what it looks like. So it's obvious I'm wearing something um, but it's not kind of like outrageous um this is what it looks like up close and this doesn't look gray to me this looks green i had i actually had asked for the brown for this too but the brown was out of stock. I think they've got three or four colors of this 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 line. And um, now I kind of want to try all of them. So I'm going to do my best to get my hands, if I can, on this this the rest of this line. But it says on the website that um, when they run out of stock, they might not get any back, unfortunately. I don't really know why because th these are beautiful. These are so much more natural looking and nicer than... The pearl line or the sparkle line i mean th those are really nice as well but these just look real these, these fit your iris they don't overlap and they add just the right amount of color and sparkle i think this was a great line that they really should keep on
This is the Siesta Black Bliss Patina. And as you guys know, if you've watched my videos, the black line is my favorite line until I saw the Sahara. But as far as the natural looking contacts go, the black line is, they've got the most amazing contacts. Um, I don't know how new this line is, as I probably mentioned in my intro video, um, because it is still being featured on their main page, the Bliss line. And I'm not quite sure why I never tried them before, but I think potentially I thought that they'd be too dark and I like the brighter, more vibrant shades um, because I want to make sure that they can be seen and not just look like my ordinary eye because, you know, why would I smother my eye and deprive it of oxygen for um, just my normal color? I, I want something bright and, you know, interesting looking. Um, but this line, the Bliss line... I really wish I had tried sooner, but again, you know, like with the, the Sahara that I did in Better Late Than Never, at least I have the opportunity to try them out now. I have no idea what is on my face. Oh, sorry. Um, but this line, um, this is like a beautiful dark green color, and I really like the design that is, a, you know, on the iris part, on the color part. I've also noticed that with the, the Black Bliss... They have really dark limbal rings on almost every single lens, and I find that very attractive. I absolutely love the dark limbal ring look, and I think that these are understated but gorgeous, gorgeous lenses. I know I'm such a hypocrite. <laughs> I literally just talked about how why would I get eye, um, contacts that are the same color as my eyes because what's the point in smothering my eye when it's just the same shade. But these are still different. This is my natural eye color. So there's still enough of a difference there. That was a really gross look. I'm sorry. These are the Black Bliss Toffee. And these lenses really do kind of remind me of Toffee. They are very hazily um i like the depth of color if you can see they've actually got like i don't know the coloring the markings on them seem very natural to me the way that they're drawn and designed um they've got different layers and levels of color to them and this has got kind of like brown with <clears throat> like a yellowish color but not an unnatural yellow it's just a really nice hazel color and of course um, these are great for when you really want to look understated, but still have your eyes pop a bit. I think that these are gorgeous. I mean, I, I won't try a contact lens that is my exact color, but if it's a color that, if it's something that will accentuate my eye and make them lighter and stand out, I, I am more willing to try than, you know, those now than I was ever in the past. And Color CL has some amazingly realistic colors, like, since I moved that and my finger was dry, it's like moving around, but that, it normally doesn't do that. It's just, I shouldn't have messed with it like I did, but, um, I'll just do this. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, so this is a really beautiful color and, um, I like the way it lightens my natural eye and it looks quite natural and quite beautiful at the same time. This is another lens that I almost didn't try just because I've got the same, not the same color, but it's, it's called the same thing in a different line. So this is the Black Bliss Khaki and I've got the Black Romance Khaki and the Black Romance is my top of the top of the top. You know, those lenses, um, I might have to do a comparison between all the lines at some point now that I've got this gorgeous ring light and I can showcase the lenses a lot better. But I just I just thought it would be pretty much the same color. I mean, it's called the same thing. I, I had no idea that the lines would showcase the colors so differently. And I'm about to do a comparison for you guys, too. Um, so this khaki is really gorgeous. This is really, really pretty. Um, it's a, obviously a green color. And... Uh, you can see that beautiful design 
and the dark rim as well. So these are for when you want to look more natural. I mean, because these look quite natural. Um, I will show you the Black Romance, and the Black Romance very much does not look natural, but the coverage is absolutely amazing, and oh poop. <laughs> I shake my lenses out. I just almost dropped it. That's not a good look. Anyway, so I will try on the Black Romance khaki so you can see the difference in the colors. Um... I don't know which one I like better. When I made the video last time, I didn't know either. So this is the Black Bliss, and that is the Black Romance. So this one looks more gray than um, green, and this one definitely, this brings out the green tinge. Um, and it doesn't have the limbo ring on it, but I still think... I don't know which one do you guys like better. Josh likes this one better. And I might as well. But then I really am really drawn to this one. So this is what makes it hard. I think this looks more realistic because of the pupil hole. Um, but this is nice and light. So anyway, um, everybody has their own opinions and thoughts on things. But this is a combination. Or the combination. This is a comparison between the Bliss line and the Black Romance line. So you can kind of see what they look like there. The Bliss line definitely has a lot more depth as far as the way their lenses are designed, the coloring and the strokes, and this is more quite simple but full coverage. Hmm. The Bliss line just might be my new favorite, actually, because of those strokes. This is Black Bliss Angel, and I had mentioned um, in my intro video that this has a potential to be one of, oopsies, I kicked my light, has the potential to be one of my favorite colors ever because of that dark limbal ring around it, and putting it on with the bright lights, I can definitely see, I really like this color. Um, growing up after you know i got out of my i wish i had blue eyes phase i always wanted gray eyes anytime i wrote a story or anything my characters always had gray eyes and you know i i always hated myself you know i hated the way i looked i hated everything about me and i used to picture um that i was in a big old fat suit a fat ugly blind suit because you know i always had bad eyesight and i pictured one day i'd find this hidden zipper and i'd zip unzip my skin and pop out and I would have clear vision and I'd be skinny and I'd have these beautiful colored eyes and blonde hair and um, I always pictured myself having gray eyes like I wanted gray eyes so badly and then I started wearing gray contacts and realized that they actually didn't really suit me so I you know I went more towards the green if you have watched my other review videos you'll see that change where I went from oh I love gray to actually that doesn't look good on me green looks better you know blue doesn't look good as good um and it's saying that my last pair is a blue pair so go figure but they're beautiful anyway um but i given up on the gray because i thought you know gray really doesn't look good but i guess the trick is finding the right shade of gray that actually suits and looks okay i think these these gray ones look pretty good um i really really love the depth of color again look at the design and how beautiful that is with that really dark limbal ring and when these are not in your eye they are white they're like a stark white color um and i was like god i hope that this color this covers my my natural color because you know some contact lenses aren't strong enough especially when you get into the lighter colors like gray um they pretty much have to be costume lenses to cover dark eyes, the gray ones. And I was a bit worried about these, but in the end, I think that, there we go. <laughs> in the end, I think that these cover quite well, and I'm really, really happy with these. And I think aside from the next ones I have, um, these might just be my favorite lenses in this set.
All right, this is the last one in the set that I have to share with you guys. And this is the Black Bliss Denim. And I love these so much because they look like blue jeans. Like if you see the design, um, excuse me, I'm gurgling. <laughs> I'm gurgling bad. Um, these have got white and light blue and dark blue all mixed in. Um, and each lens is different. You know, they don't have the same pattern or design on either one. And when you look at them, they, they do look like a blue jean pattern and they look natural, understated, but really interesting. I love these lenses so, so much. Um, I've, you know, been trying to stay away from blues and the things that I used to like in favor of things that I know look better. Um, but in wanting to review enough stuff to get, you know, something for everybody, I... I'm trying things that I normally would have stopped trying, if that makes any sense. And um, I'm so glad. I'm sorry, I'm leaking now. I'm surprised I have makeup on. If you remember my very first video, I ended it. I didn't even end it. It was like three contacts in and I didn't have any makeup left. So I think I'm doing pretty good here lately. Um, I'm just trying to get this little corner here. That's not good. I'm glad this is the last pair then. <laughs> But anyway, um, I'm just trying to, you know, get some different kinds of lenses that I normally would have stopped trying in hopes that, you know, I, I have something that other people might be interested in, might possibly want to try out for yourself. And these lenses are beautiful. They are surprisingly gorgeous in their design. And I really, really love this line. I highly recommend trying them out. Uh... So yeah, that's about it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, do you have a favorite from this set? And excuse my makeup and stuff, but um, yeah, do you have a favorite from this set? And what do you guys think about the light? Um, this is my first contact video using the ring lights. Um, the costume lenses I did, I don't know if I used ring lights or not. I think I did, but I turned them down low because the lenses washed out the coloring. Um the coloring of the lenses but ooh, this light is amazing have you guys seen the review video that I did it goes through all these different colors look at all these settings <laughs> some of these are not very flattering the blues especially show all the makeup that I actually have smudged on my face which is a little bit embarrassing um but yeah, that's a pretty one, except that also shows all the crap I have all over my face. Um, let's go back to normal light here. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Anyway, um, I'm so sorry. What do you think of the ring lights? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think this setup helps you see the colors of the contact lenses better? Or do you like it the way I did it before? Um, and again, do you have a favorite? Is there anything that you would like to see if you check out the Color CL website? If there's any contact lens on there that I have not reviewed yet that you would like to see, please let me know and I will get my hands on it and I will review it for you guys. Remember that there is a code that you guys can use for 10% off um, if you want to order from them. And I might just have another giveaway at some point if you know enough people are still interested. And so until then, take care you guys and I will see you guys next video.